Good afternoon, Farm Talk. We're going to continue this series of things that I'm looking forward to for the future of agriculture. Today's topic is going to be regenerative agriculture and regenerative ranching. And I can already feel people's fingers starting to do this. Just hold on. I promise not to get too terribly preachy. Maybe. Hopefully. Moving on. This, what used to be a kind of fringe idea is really now starting to hit the mainstream. And I'm here for it. I, you probably could tell that, you know, I like to employ a bunch of regenerative practices into our operation. Not only is it helping our soil health, but it's also helping our profitability. On the crop side of things, we're making tremendous progress in making regen ag more mainstream. It's no longer just, you know, a fringe idea and, you know, I will throw out a few terms, radishes and call it a day. No, we're seeing folks now employing these practices using multiple different species in different cover crops, stuff that we would have never even thought of using 10 years ago. And there are some folks that have completely eliminated the use of any extra fertilizer in their ground at all. I uh, believe one of the guys up in North Dakota has completely stopped. He's rolling over that much organic nitrogen year after year. He doesn't need to add any more on. You have the biologics market, which has its roots in the region ag movement. Instead of, you know, using, you know, maybe some harsher chemicals to beat Mother Nature into submission to do what you want. It's now more of, hey, we want to use the soil, activate what's there to work better together and to work better with Mother Nature. You're seeing a lot of the bigger companies starting to hop in on this trend. ADM, General Mills, or just a couple of them. They are all in on trying to promote regenerative practices. But Regen Ag isn't just limited to the crop side of things. You are seeing some tremendous progress also being made in regenerative ranching. There are folks right here on this app that are doing some awesome work. People like, you know, Trevor Burian. Uh, Hungry Butte Ranch is his handle here. Then you've got uh, Brian Alexander, Red Hills Rancher. Then you have uh, Jim Baggett. These guys are just a slice of the impressive work that's being done in the regen ranching side of things. You're seeing things like ultra high density grazing, moving those cows every day, every couple of days, whatever it is, and winter stockpile grazing. You're seeing a lot of these ranchers substantially slash their overhead costs while at the same time improving their soil health and making for some amazing prairie. These practices aren't just helping those of us who are already established in this business, like myself. They're helping folks that don't have the generational infrastructure like I do get started as a first generation farmer and or rancher. When you don't have the generational infrastructure like I'm blessed with, you got to get creative and you got to get creative fast if you want to stay in business. And Regen Ag is one of the things people are turning to, to help them be more profitable. One of the reasons I'm so excited about Regen Ag and Regen Ranching is because I'm now seeing this new blood, these, these newcomers to, you know, agriculture and ranching that are now building towards generational wealth and generational infrastructure. Regen Ag's blessing and curse is the fact that it is able to be tailor-made for every single operation. I truly believe that it can be used anywhere. It is not easy. It requires a complete rethink of what you're doing. And you're going to make mistakes when you first start getting into it. Lord knows I have. To be fair, to be fair, letter Kenny joke there, my list of screw-ups is a fair bit longer than my list of successes. So there it is. Another thing that I am excited for for the future of agriculture, Regen Ag, Regen Ranching, it's fantastic stuff, and we're only just beginning on its potential.
Next up on the list of things that I'm looking forward to for the future of agriculture, we're going to talk about drones. Because like autonomous equipment, that technology is here and it's only getting better and it is developing at a lightning pace. As always, thanks for stopping by.